hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel is your girl warrior the carry last tv guys how are you all doing hope you have a great day so guys before i will leave this amazing video for you guys to watch please if you know you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please kindly subscribe like share if you can may god bless you so in today's video i'm about to leave for you guys is a very amazing video so sit and enjoy don't forget to leave your comment on the comment section below thank you all for watching see you guys on my next video bye bye number and we know we have the numbers we are 120 million population from the north then the fulanis have 40 million in population and if you put that together that will give you 160 million and you can out of the approximately 210 million as in being envisaged the population of nigeria when you take 160 million out of 210 million what is the balance about 70 million i cannot see how 100 uh, 160 million uh, i can see how 70 million will beat 160 million so we are ready for it we believe in democracy we are democratic in nature we know politics is a game of number we know politics speak leadership is by ballot box leadership is by pvc leadership is by election and that was why we are calling our people to come out a mass and get their pvcs the 120 million northerners should get their pvc the 40 million fulanis should get their pvc put together 160 million we will elect another president by 29th of may by february next uh, 2023 we should be going into election to elect a fresh northern president that will balance the remaining four years that not has the northern consensus movement has called on all 120 million northerners and 40 million full anins that are eligible voters to ensure they mobilize towards 2023 general election and jettison on democratic leadership rotations in nigeria the group Northern Consensus Movement therefore stated that there, there is no amount of grandstanding propelled by the threat and intimidations either from the southern governors and some sociocultural organizations that can change the remaining outstanding balance of four years presidency tenure for the North. Southern Nigeria took the mantle of leadership for 14 years. By the time President Muhammad Buhari will be finishing his eight years, uh, two term of eight years, North would have served for 10 years, South, Southern Nigeria would have served for 14 years. If we are talking of equity, fairness, balance, and togetherness, then Northern Nigeria still have four more years to go before it will now be equal of 14, 14 years. But nobody can um, um, twist us from the north or intimidate us or harass us or coerce us to think that by grandstanding or intimidation we will abandon our four years just because some people are threatening the peaceful coexistence of Nigeria. Northern Nigeria has a population of over 120 million people. And by this press conference, we are asking all the 120 million eligible voters from the north to come out a mass and get their PVC and also begin an aggressive but peaceful mobilization of our people to get ready for 2023 general election. We are also using the medium to call on to our 40 million Fulani brothers that are Nigerians to also reach out to every Fulani man that is eligible to get his PVC so that he will be the part of deciding who becomes the next Nigeria's president in 2023 as Nigerians that have equal right with any other Nigerian. And like we all know, in the United States of America, the Britain and other parts of the world, most especially in, in America, Election of who becomes the president is determined by number. In most cases, most of the president of America are from North America because that is where the vote comes from. But in Nigeria today, we have forgotten credibility. 
we have forgotten about patriotism we have forgotten about nas nationalism we are forgotten about love for each other all we are talking about is tribe religion or region in terms of leadership we are not looking at qualification and by that we are being intimidated that because the present leadership of Nigeria is being led by a northerner. We are being threatened that the power must shift to the other part of Nigeria. And we are saying that we still have a balance of four years, even after President Muhammad Buhari left in 2023. By May 2023, we still have a balance of four years. And we cannot be intimidated. We cannot be harassed. We cannot be coerced by either the governors of South South or any social cultural organization into leaving our mandate or jettisoning our mandate because of harassment or intimidation. We are saying that we must complete the balance of four years to make it 14, 14 years from 1999 till date. Southern part of Nigeria would have, ru have ruled for 14 years. The North will complete it four years to make it 14 years before the issue of rotation, uh, rotational presidency will come. But for now, 2023, and who becomes the president of 2023 is still another responsibility because we still have a balance of four years. And even if the other part of Nigeria filled no, then every part or every political party should fill in candidates. There are a lot of political parties in Nigeria. It's not only PDP or APC that are political parties in Nigeria. There are other political parties let all political parties filled in qualified candidates. Then let Nigerians decide who becomes the next president. Let the ballot box decide who becomes the next president. Let the votes count and let the vote decide who becomes the next Nigeria's president. This is our position. This is the standing of North. And we cannot even be coerced or intimidated, even by the, our own Northern governors, cannot decide for us who become or which region will take over the mantle of leadership. Nigerians will decide who becomes the next president. And as far as northern Nigeria is concerned, northerners will bring in, will fill in a candidate from whatever political party we will fill in candidate, and we will vote in a candidate that we feel has the patriotism, a candidate that will feel have nationalistic thinking, a candidate that we think is qualified, a candidate that we think will love northerners, will love southerners, will love every Nigerian, either at home or abroad. But we will, like we said, we will, we will not be intimidated. We refuse to, to be intimidated. We will not allow anybody to untwist us. We have our own people. We have our own vote. And politics is a game of number. So let the numbers play out. Let the numbers decide who becomes the next Nigeria's president. At this juncture, I would also invite the president of Ariwa Traders Association to make one or two comments. He understands how to speak um, Fulani. I don't uh, know how to speak Fulani language, but he understands how to speak Fulani language. So he, he will speak and call on the Fulanis to please come out and do their PVC. Get their PVC and get ready for 2023 general election. I am speaking for the North. This is Northern Nigeria, as you can see. Northern Consensus Movement is an amalgamation of 75 economically inclined Northern organization. And when we say 75 economically inclined, it suggests to you that this, as we are seated here, is the economic heart of Northern Nigeria. This is the commercial heart of Northern Nigeria. The organizations here are the ones running the buying and the sellings, the transportation, the movement, and everything that you know that is full of good and services that is of Northern to any other part of Nigeria. This is the structure that is responsible for that. Here, you just heard from the president of Ariwa Traders Association. When you hear Ariwa Traders Association, you know what trading it means. Trading means anything buying and the selling. And then you have the amalgamated cattle dealers of Nigeria. When you hear that, it means anything that has to do with cattle, from cow, goat, sheep, to chicken, as far as it is something that is worth eating in the name of meat, it is amalgamated. You just heard 
from the Gan Allah Fulani Development Association. And who are the rearers? The cattle dealers are the ones that buy the cattle and transport them and sell. While the, Gan, the Fulanis, you know very well, are the ones that rear those cow, sheep, goat, chicken, and anything meat. And you just heard from them. And you also have the Arewa Journalist Forum here. They speak. Uh, they carry all the information that we are. So everything that is buying and selling as far as northern nigeria is concerned is here you have the groups of comrades apart from the economic bodies of that are members of here you have the educational body you have environmental body you have a woman body you have everything that constitute you have you, you have a woman here who's representing all the northern women that are here. so this is a northern structure we speak for not we don't just speak for ourselves we speak Pick for North because we are Northerners and we believe in North. That is number one. Number two, I am not term. We never ask for any tort term. We will never ask for any tort term. The president of Nigeria has made it, his position clear that he is a democratic president and he believes in constitutional democracy. He is a man of rule of law. So he will not breach the rule of law. What we are saying is northern nigeria has four balance of four more years we are going to present the north will present a candidate that will balance our four years before we go into rotation but we are not asking for uh, like you call it um uh, third time no we are not asking for third time nobody asks for third time we will never ask for third time we are democratic we believe in democracy and we are practicing democracy that was why we said politics is a game of number and we know we have the numbers we are 120 million population from the north then the fulanis have 40 million in population and if you put that together that will give you 160 million and you can out of the approximately 210 million as in being envisaged the population of nigeria when you take 160 million out of 210 million what is the balance about 70 million i cannot see how 100 uh, 160 million uh, i can't see how 70 million will beat 160 million so we are ready for it we believe in democracy we are democratic in nature we know politics is a game of number we know politics speak leadership is by ballot box leadership is by pvc leadership is by election and that was why we are calling our people to come out a mass and get their pvcs the 120 million northerners should get their pvc the 40 million fulanis should get their pvc put together 160 million we will elect another president by 29th of may by february next uh, 2023 we should be going into election to elect a fresh northern president that will balance the remaining four years that not has because the southern part of nigeria has already ruled for 14 years we are have only 10 years we have balance of four years we are going to vote in who becomes the next president to balance our four years then after that four years we can come back to negotiating table and begin to discuss rotation and then that time we will agree from where the rotation will start from either from the north or the south wherever it was agreed as at that time no problem but for now we have a balance of four years and we are going to work towards ensuring that we complete that four years to make it 14 14 years from each of the regions south southern part and the northern part then after that we are good to go, but we did not ask for third term. We will not ask for third term. President Buhari is a democratic president. He's a man that believes in rule of law. He is following strictly the rule of law, and he has mentioned in himself, nobody should try anything third term for him. We will not.